All right, we are at 1224 Avenue L on the upstairs deck. This is the upstairs 3-2 unit. Just to kind of give you a look around. You have CrossFit directly across the street. There's a church over on that corner. It's a nice block. I actually have friends that live down at the end. So. Coming in, you do have an entry foyer. The light overhead. Ahead is your kitchen. To the left, we'll start here. This would be your living room area. It has windows on three sides. They're really tall. They are new, they look to be vinyl windows. So they have been replaced, so they're gonna be considered more energy efficient than the wood ones. Um, there's plugs, baseboards, everything in the, that I've seen is done in the same wood laminate flooring. So it's, it's very cohesive. Great architectural details with the doors, the door frames. Going through here, this would be your dining room. And in the traditional sense, you can do what you want with it, of course. Um, and then you go into a bedroom. This one has a door that closes off. It has a nice closet over here. It has a ceiling fan with light kit. They're working on the window frame, I mean the window coverings right now. They'll be at the days probably. They're aluminum, sorry, not vinyl. And then there's a door here that opens onto the kitchen. So you can come directly to the kitchen through the front door, like we didn't do. And then as you come into the kitchen, you've got these overhead cabinets that are great for display displaying really pretty stuff that you have. There's a good shelf there for displaying, putting stuff out. Um, stainless steel and black appliances throughout the kitchen. It's very, very large. This is a 60 inch ceiling fan and it has no problem spinning. Um, it does have a microwave, cupboards overhead, additional cupboards over here. This is a door to the patio and additional cupboard sink, more cupboard space here. And that takes you into the restroom. And the restroom has a vanity cabinet, a uh, framed mirror, lights. One of the circuit breakers is off. That's why there's no lights in here. They're replacing the ceiling fan. has a big window that's in lots of natural light. Here is your washer and dryer. It is a stackable unit. It does not look like there's space for two standalones. Um, this is your shower tub combination. Toilet. This does have a tile floor in it, ceramic tile, as opposed to the wood. Going around the corner, back through the kitchen. This will be bedroom number two. This is the front on the right side of the house. It's in the back. You have a pretty good sized closet here. You can get a lot of stuff in there. And then I'm not sure if that's a closet or not. I haven't figured out how to open it. It may be, it may be something on the other side. Just not sure. Lots of windows that's in lots of natural light. Those blinds there that are closed need to be replaced. And then this adjoins. This is so you can put in like an office or a workout room, attach it to your bedroom, which I think would be the perfect thing for you. Sit up and you can be up here. You can look all the way down the street. Out front, you run over to CrossFit and work out. This one has built-in cupboards in the corner. It's a built-in wardrobe, I should say. Um, and I can't get to it because there's a ceiling fan popped against it. But the ceilings in here are probably 11, 10 or 11 feet. So it does feel very tall. And when you're in the foyer, it's really nice and it's all open. So what we're gonna do right now is step outside. And this is gonna be your outdoor entertaining area. And this is really, really nice. It's, there's a lot of, there's some stuff around here because they're fixing the place up, but this is just a really nice area out here. You got some good sun. Um, there is, it looks like one parking space back behind the garage. The garage does not look like it's available for parking. Um, and then there are stairs coming up right here. So I imagine we could work out whether you want it in the front or the back, whichever was better for you. Um, that's the back of the house. But there's plenty of space out here for lots of furniture and lots of entertaining. And it's quiet. 
So that is going to conclude our walkthrough video. And I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks so much. Welcome to Galveston.